Hi, Mark Gordon with GoldenTicker.com on Tuesday, June the 12th with the gold, silver, and stock forecast. This is the GLD, the gold ETF, up three quarters of a point, uh, per, of a percentage point, and uh, we had a nice little bounce up off of this lower trend line I've drawn. We got a trend in place uh, uh, to the upside for a change, and uh, we came down here to 153, bounced off this lower line. I connected uh, two of these lows to that. And um, now it looks like we're poised to get back above this 50-day moving average, this blue line here, and challenge this upper trend line one more time, which would take us into about the 161-162 area, which will coincide with the 100-day moving average, this green dotted line at 161.42. So um, we did close below the 50-day moving average. Uh, we have some momentum to the upside. We did have a pickup in volume today, a nice sign here. So I don't see why we can't uh, challenge, um, number one, this upper trend line here. Uh, the Bollinger Band, you can see this gray area here, the Bollinger Bands are designed to keep prices uh, uh, within them 95% of the time. It's a mathematical algorithm, and uh, that is a place of overhead resistance uh, uh, here. So our next challenge is at about the 158 level, and then all clear on that up to the 161. Uh, area uh, to test that this uh, overhead resistance up here and of course we are still sitting below the all-important 200-day moving average coming in at about 163 and a half so gold uh, uh, looking like uh, uh, it wants to run higher and uh, if it stays within this channel we'll have a nice upside move here let's watch it and of course you shorter term players are probably using a, a, a stop a little under 153 and playing this run here but uh, gold uh, in a short-term uptrend. And we have a similar story happening in the silver. This is the SLV, the silver ETF, up 1.3% uh, today and a nice uptrend channel going. All of a sudden, we have got a trend happening here. Uh, came down, um, tested this lower trend line, uh, having three different uh, tests of it. So a nice solid lower trend line here, 27.32, bouncing up off of that. You short-term traders can play that, stop under uh, 27.32 and play this run up here. Uh, might get a little bit of uh, resistance, number one here at the Bollinger Band at 28.41. And also the 50-day moving average coming in here now at 29.01, 29.01 and falling. So it looks like we're headed uh, for uh, higher prices here on the silver. Uh, testing the upper trend line uh, as it's done a couple of times here would probably take us into about the 29.60, 29.70 area. Uh, we did have a pickup in volume, uh, volume just about average here, so gaining some momentum to the upside in the silver. Of course, we do have to get above the 50-day uh, moving average. We have had two closes above the 21-day moving average, great sign. Uh, we have the 10-day, this gray line crossing over the uh, solid red line, the 21-day moving average, another bullish sign. Uh, so we have some bullish indicators on the silver uh, helping to drive the prices higher. I'm going to scroll down and give you a couple indicators real quick. I don't put a lot of weight in these, but they're nice to see. Um, we do have the MACD uh, uh, solidly, uh, the black faster line above the uh, blue slower line uh, since uh, mid to late May. Uh, and that gap uh, appears to be widening a bit. Uh, so good sign there. Uh, we have the stochastics that are not overbought, uh, which is a great sign. And the black faster line is starting to cross the red slower line. So good, good uh, 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 momentum there as well. Moving on to stocks now. Stocks did well. Uh, NASDAQ Composite up 1.2 percent and uh, closing uh, uh, at the highs of the day and uh, just above the 21-day moving average on a pickup in volume. So nice little move there. Could be a little short-term uh, bottom here. Um, uh, has the markings of that. And uh, uh, the low it got to today was 2802.38, 2802.38. So that might uh, end up being a, a, a solid low here. We'll have to see. Uh, we did make a lower low than yesterday and not a higher high. So um, uh, we're not out of the woods yet, but I do like the uh, pickup in volume here. Uh, still uh, having uh, uh, to uh, get above the 100 and the 50-day moving averages converging here in around the 2950 level. So lots of work for the NASDAQ to do before we get real bullish on that, but uh, we have some constructive things happening. And certainly taking out uh, yesterday, we got up to 2882.96, uh, and uh, we took out this previous high here 
uh, which is actually a very nice thing to do. Uh, so technically, we are in a short-term uptrend uh, on um, on the Nasdaq. And moving on now to the broader S&P 500. This is the SPY, and uh, same kind of story. Got above the 21-day moving average. Uh, volume was just about the same, uh, but uh, slightly above average. Good sign there. And uh, certainly, we are in a uh, short-term uptrend as well, taking out uh, this previous high. Uh, yesterday at the 134.25 level and uh, we did make a slightly lower low here got support down here at the 10 day moving average closed above the 21 still below the 50 and 100 but we are in technically in a short term uptrend although we don't have a lot of momentum going uh, yet but a uh, little bit of a turnaround happening here certainly in the metals uh, stocks are so showing some kinds of, of life uh, uh, maybe igniting something to the upside a little early to tell yet but uh, that's the way she rolls. So thanks for listening and good luck trading.